literally the kind of thing that for generations people will be able to point to and talk about. Now, today's event at UConn was by invitation only. Of course, our congressional delegation mm -hmm. was all there and uh, welcoming him to the campus as well. Yeah. Our team coverage of the president's trip to Connecticut continues right now with more on why he was at UConn. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is breaking down the significance behind UConn's Dodd Center for Human Rights and why the president is there. I think it's super exciting for the school. I think everybody's pretty excited to see a, a sitting president coming into town. A big day for the flagship institution of Connecticut. President Biden visiting the Yukon Stores campus for a dedication of the Dodd Center for Human Rights. The center is named in honor of former Senator Chris Dodd and his father, Thomas Dodd, who was a prosecutor during the Nuremberg trials and helped convict 19 Nazi leaders. Both of the senators have long records of working in the areas of human rights. UConn has the nation's largest undergraduate and graduate human rights academic program. It advances human rights knowledge through research, teaching, and engagement. Today's visit marks the first time since 1995 that a sitting U.S. president has been on the UConn campus. The last time was Bill Clinton actually to dedicate this particular facility in its first iteration. So we're very excited that uh, this is coming back around to us again. In 2015, President Clinton received an award at the center for his work in human rights and social justice. And while there's much excitement surrounding President Biden's visit to Yukon today, others aren't too pleased. It's just interesting to see the president here. I think there are plenty of other speakers we could have gotten that would have caused a lot less disruption, that would have mattered a lot more to the impact of human rights like a lot more human rights activists, a lot more people who have done a lot of things on the ground. Close to 500 dignitaries and guests received invitations to the event. Really underlying all of it is the importance of a society in which everyone is valued and respected and honored. And that is the whole purpose of the center and the purpose of this visit. In stores, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.